Hello, Trent Jesse here. In this video tutorial, I'll be teaching you about the Woo Themes typography section. The typography simply allows you to come in here and change a lot of the uh, fonts and the styles and the colors. And so this tutorial won't be too long, but um, when you come underneath the theme options of your Woo Themes uh, WordPress theme, and you'll have that uh, ability. At least most of the themes have that control. So when you click on typography, you can click on this box right here that says enable the use of custom typography for your site. Custom styling will be output in your site's head. All that means is that the uh, changes that you make below will simply be reflected all throughout your website. Okay, so make sure you mark that box if you want to use these options. You don't have to, but if you want to, you mark that box, then you move on. The general typography allows you to change like the spacing. So 1.5, you'll notice on we're going to visit the site here, visit the front view of the site. Let's click on blog because that will uh, give you the ability to easily see what I'm talking about here. So you'll see the spacing between each word. That spacing is dictated by this general typography 1.5 in this section right here. So if you click on one point, let's see, let's do two. Okay. So if you click on two and the EM, or you can do pixels, but this, this is just the spacing. So if you click on Save All Changes, and then you refresh the page, then it makes it super big. You see that? And and so it looks kind of wonky, but you get the point. So we're gonna go back and change that back to 1.5, so it looks nice. So sometimes it's really nice to change the font spacing right there if you have a site that supports a nice layout of it especially if your site is targeted towards um, people who have a hard time reading or would like to have bigger font styles on their on their website so it's uh, once again easier to read so that's that's the general typography section the navigation gives you the control over changing the font style and the spacing and the color and so forth and with the navigation which is just right up here at the top of your website okay this is the navigation of your website so if you just want to change that section, then just come underneath the navigation area and change the spacing and the style and so forth for that. So this entire typography area gives you complete control over specialized areas within your website. Okay, the general is the overview that does your entire website. And the navigation just the, does the navigation and so forth. Okay, so page title, post title, post titles for your blog posts and the post meta. These are all different sections throughout your website and so you can just play around with these areas and see what they do. Make sure you click on save all changes when you're done and then you can go to your site and make sure you click on the into the address field and press the enter, enter button or you can click on the refresh button to refresh your screen. This is just for newbies if you already know how to do that in the grape. Then you can see the changes. Okay so We've gone over um, a lot of these areas already. So widget titles, the widget titles are found on the right hand side. Okay, this is the widget side area. So if you changed the font and the color, then the the text right here that you see would change. Right, and the introductory message header. You're, you know, not all themes are going to have this section right here, but my theme does, since I'm using the uh, hustle theme with Woo themes. And the uh, same thing with the message subtext. So, and that comprises this tutorial.